Hi, this is Kate from My Wayfaring Dreams. I don't know how great this light is going to be um, because I don't have a light on this camera, but I thought we would watch some fire. Tonight is a second successful night of fire. I'm a very good fire builder. And I always watch everybody has their ideas of how they want to do it how they're going to build the fire and everyone has different techniques I don't know if I was the boy scout in another life or just from camping so much I've always done the um that's what you call it you know two and then two more on top crossing it and I usually put like a third one in the middle that's uh, a little more uh, dry and easy to light then cross two more kind of the pyre thing yeah the, uh. so I guess if I was going to sacrifice somebody I would be a great pyre builder so I made the fire earlier today but I didn't light it and I thought you know I'm gonna try to do the TP kind of hodgepodge thing and I scraped most of the ashes away, but I left the charcoals from last night. And I put it in my kindling, and it all burned up, but the fire did not catch. So I was like, screw this. So I went and got my gloves, picked the fire apart. My favorite gloves. I know. Not quite chick-like, but I use them for everything. Dealing with briars, dealing with fire whatever I've been wearing them for a few years now but I've obviously not worn them out so that makes them good gloves doesn't it anyway so I went back to the, the good old standby and with even less kindling and poof there it went last night I had used all the dry wood that the park offers because you have to buy the wood here um, and it had all been covered with the tarp and was really dry and I went through it a lot faster. So today, though I didn't really need to, I had plenty of wood, I went ahead and went and got another big milk carton, milk crate, see it there behind the car, full of wood. And I grabbed some of the pieces that had not been uh, taken out of the rain hoping that they would last a little bit longer we can go up so quick take a little bit longer to burn and you can kind of tell the one i got because i don't know if i can get my camera close enough but one of them there the white thing on the end is whatever sap or goo or <laughs> critters living in it or foaming up and coming out the end but anywho yesterday i just lit the fire just to uh fires always make you feel more cheerful and snuggled and I don't know make me feel at peace after such a rainy crappy day but tonight I'm going to sit up around it for a while and just like anybody else I can sit and stare at a fire for hours and just be lost in thoughts or just lost in watching the flames not even thinking about anything so hopefully that'll be the case I finally got some neighbors there across the street nobody here behind me I was going to take down the pop-up tent because I noticed last night as I was going to bed that it makes some it leaks around some of the seams around the windows it's a Wakeman tent it's my first time ever having a Wakeman tent I'm not sponsored by them and I'm not dissing them because in other words it's fine but I just need to reseal, put some sealant around those few places, and I think it'll be fine. Um, it was great for keeping my heat in, which is why I went to a smaller fire than, I mean, <laughs> dur -dur -dur, I'm like mesmerized by the fire now. That's why I went to a smaller tent rather than our big four-man tent, so it would hold my heat better. So, this morning, I slept in a t-shirt and pajama bottoms, I was good. This morning when I opened the tent door, though it wasn't really cold, I could definitely tell the difference from inside and outside. But I was 
pissed that the floor was wet and I had to dry it. But then I started watching the weather forecast and they weren't forecasting any more rain. And it's going to get down to like 41 tonight. And I thought, you know what? No more rain coming. I'm going to go ahead and use it this whole time. So I get a really good feel for it. And frankly, today I've been exhausted after the drive. Um, doing a little too much with my back yesterday. And it putting, putting up tarps, trying to finagle tarps and in the rain. I was just wore out. I slept good last night. Had some crazy dreams about camping. And my whole family was around different spots of the camp. And I didn't know they were here. And anyway, just one of those crazy, like, surprise. So anyhow, so I decided I'm going to keep it tonight because it's supposed to get a little bit colder tonight and tomorrow night. That way, I'll be warmer. Because I don't care what anyone says. If you've got too much of a space around you, you will not produce enough body heat to fill it up. It's going to suck your body heat away. So, that's the two-man tent for a one person. I'm just not going to have as much stuff in there. I'm charging stuff tonight, and then I'll lock my, my charger in the car. And the car has an alarm. And, uh, so, everything will be fine. I just, uh... Decided I'm going to stick with a tent. I just didn't have the energy or the gumption to put up the bigger tent. Which I was going to. If there had been predicted that it was going to rain tonight or today, I would have put it up. And if they were predicting rain for tomorrow, I was going to put it up. Just, you know, to be safe. Better safe than sorry. But since they're not, I'm going to roll the dice and just stay in the little two man pop up. It fits my, uh, Hot from Buyers of Maine, uh, the Allegheny Plus. It was a bit of a bitch to put together, but it has a little handle. Um, you turn it upside down, and then you have to fit these legs that are kind of W-shaped, or yeah, or M-shaped actually, into these two holes on each side of it, and it's pretty strong. Whatever the metal is made of definitely not aluminum so I had to kind of set on one edge of it the cot and use my left leg to push it out to full width and then really tug but I did one end and then I did the other end and then it made putting the, the two legs in the middle run smoothly so it is a good cot it's a good width um, though I am carrying more weight than I should be I am um, and I'm bigger than I've ever been. The bars on the side did not bother me. It's a 30 inch wide. And I lay on my side typically with my knees kind of bent. And I was comfortable all night. So tonight's going to be colder. Um, and I was in my sleeping bag last night. But pretty much just, you know, I had my feet and my legs in it. I didn't wear socks to bed. I was, you know, it was, uh, I think the lowest it got was maybe 62 or 61. And being a bit warm natured. That was not a problem. So tonight's going to be colder. And I have a decent uh, pad under me. But I didn't buy any memory foam. Because I wanted to see how the pad I had was going to work. So. Anywho. Yeah, that one kind of fell off. It had been burnt up. I decided... To put my Indian, an Afghan type quilt, so it's really thick and heavy underneath me, just for extra padding. It works fine. But, oh yeah. Ooh, doggy, go. I don't know what it is about fire. I would have been the, one of those cavemen when they first discovered fire. Be like kids when they first had, you know, DVDs and. CDs came out like gotta have it gotta do it. I got to do the fire And that's one good thing about camping alone is You don't have somebody here Typically of the opposite sex, but not always there's chicks that can be that way too that you know, I am tough I Am alpha I will do the fire 
And then those of us who make really good fires have to stand back and get our little digs in going, well, if you do it this way, and you're like, turn around. They're like, shut up. Don't tell me how to build a fire. And you're going, I'm freezing. Let's get this fire built. They're like, I'm doing it my way. It'll be a great fire. So in the meantime, you're sitting around with a blanket around you going, this dude sucks. But anywho, I get to build my own fire and look at it go. Anyhow, just wanted to say hey. Tell everyone that uh, camping's going great. I should have did more filming today, but I was just so tired. I just sat around, messed with my tablet a bit, daydreamed, leaned back in the chair, enjoyed a little bit of sun, took a little cat naps, snack, you know. The best thing is about just relaxing and getting away. So, this has been Kate with My Wayfaring Dreams. Um, night two of camping. I hope everyone has a, a great evening, a great tomorrow. Um, hit the like button and subscribe. You guys have a great night. Love you. Bye.